the practice race made it seem like it would be okay if I only did, like, hit the dummies occasionally, but... So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. Able... That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, I slam when I first taken. laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. Hey, I like you that. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Love is not Actually, perfection. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Okay, sure. He's challenging me to a duel. At this tourney is an affront to my honor. You're somebody I else. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Nah! <laughs> Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. You sound like you're speaking through uh, your your teeth clenched. All right. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. Bro, I did what I had to. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. Hey. <laughs> Alright. That's not what I was expecting. Whoop. Like reline up again, but he like freaking insists. I'm just going at it like dingleberries. Shut up and fight. Bro, you can't compete against my health pool. Time it just right. Take it easy. For reasons yeah. unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, <laughs> I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to Thanks. hear it. Now I got work to do. Uh, we're gonna be best palsies now, right? So that was a fun little before feast action that we got, I guess.
Is the fight tomorrow or something? Oh my, my gosh, don't tell me she has a lovely this beautiful voice celebration or of valor and honor. And to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Gregoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's Gorgon. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. He is huge. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Okay. Then off to battle. That grey domed scoundrel, ever seeking lady. Grey domed. Some kind of maniac. Oh, this is her tent. Okay. So, uh, Vivian. Please don't transform and hurt me. Hmm. Strange. We're sure She's the birdie! Vanished, melted into thin air. And that bird. Is she a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Like the birds leaving me somewhere. It's her. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm, get out of here. I see you, birdie. I mean, I can definitely help you unless you're like trying to bring me to my doom or something. so many panthers. Don't follow me, kitty. Oh crap. Ooh, nice girl. Nope, not nice girl. So many bridges. Okay, I was like, I'm here, birdie. How does one get cursed to transform into a bird?
Okay. Died sitting up. Oh go. Oh wow. Oh hi Birdie. Where are we going now? Through the trees? Trying to get me killed, Birdie? Wow, we are going far. Recording's gonna take forever. I'm gonna just split it up weird. If you throw me off a cliff, I'm gonna be real mad. Oh, okay, in the middle of the trees. That's a good place to transform. Like, really, I'm not being sarcastic. If she's gonna show me that she transforms, then this is as good a place as any. Witcher. Lady Vivian counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Ah. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion but... I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so. Now. No! And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? A bird lady. Why should I guess when you could tell me yourself? If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Mm. You got nothing to fear. I came here to help you, and I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. I think necessary. she's quite pretty in this form. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But wow. a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? 
They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. Hmm. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. Fifteen but summers. fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially, only when the moon was full. But now, it's really cool. so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus, I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. The ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. Hmm, so, so, I mean, is this what she looks like all the time then? And she just uses, like, magic to make herself look like a normal human or what the curse it could be reversible once ran into a bear oh yeah a cormorant that's in the book for good this managed to cure him completely and you truly think you could do something like this for me maybe can't guarantee a thing tough case yours you were cursed before birth that alone complicates things also you claim the curse is increasing its hold symptoms are progressing Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Is it really so bad to be a bird? I mean, I'm sure there's somebody in the world that would love it, you know? All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Crap, this is one of those big decision things. What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is... You could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree. Wholeheartedly. I see Come why. On. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the Tawny Grounds by now. Shall we? Return. Yeah. Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. So he just washed it away? Like, what the heck? You can change it, Will? No. But I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I found... Come. The original curse giver, actually. Dang it, I should have stayed here. Mm. 
I wonder if I can go back. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or... I could transfer the I curse to him, I bet. I sold her at the least. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for yeah, her. Yeah, but she doesn't I know you from, from you Adam. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Respect her wishes. Look, in time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How yeah, dare buddy. you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you. I regret it now. You're just a do child. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I didn't bind her to anything! Mm. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Crap, maybe I can go back on an autosave or something. I doubt there is. I think it would have mentioned something. Oh well, we'll just keep going this way. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonful will lead the opposing. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. Isn't he the elf guardian that was like shoving cocaine up his nose or something? A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one drops to its knees. Who virtue is lost, or lance blows, oh, no unclean, idea. shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. <laughs> Let us begin! Let the pion, the butterfly! Ruckus. Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in bucket. No, oh, I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put the thing on. I've had just about enough of these toys. I won't use any magic. The world's 
never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. Palmer in the Longfall and Gregoire de Gorgon, two knights of high valor shall fight to be champion. Geralt of Rithia shall not stand in La Wait, what? Though hopes he raised high, of victory short, he fell. To the tired remainder, we salute what? your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves. I was your the last one members. standing. Understand how this tourney is going. And Guillermo did not tell me any rules. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tense grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? Well, no. No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Oh, wow. Return only cruel. once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the witchers see. Out now! Well, that was a bit harsh. But at the same time, it's none of his business. You assured me I could trust you. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. I didn't but say anything! Say, Geralt, this is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. All right. It's your life. Need to find an egg, preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. I could find the curse giver. I could do something, maybe. 
but I'm, I'm sure he would have mentioned that. You know? Like Geralt would have said, if I can find the curse giver and then convince him and or punch him into convincement. <laughs> Boy, if you follow us, I'm gonna be so mad. It's not your decision. If she wants to live seven years of guilt-free life, let her do so. This is the place. It's not your decision, guy. Stand back. Uh -oh. I'll take care of this. Whoa. Left right on my face. That's a nasty. potion I usually use is nice. Eggs fell in a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. so do your clothes just fall off or something? Now what must I do? You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao, Muana Finerat. She naked lady. She naked lady now. This is very um not good looking though. Two people just passed out in the woods. Damn it. Oh Damn my medallion's vibrating. Look. look. Yeah, that or it's just glitching. Oh gods. I shall be able to attend balls. I shall travel to Oxenfer. To Novigrad even. Thank you, Witcher. How to thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to okay. him in my stead. Please, be so kind. She doesn't want to get caught up with some boy. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Besides, she may only have seven years, Guillermo. And I'm sure your ballads are like, Oh, we can love a love like no other love in seven years. But uh, she wants to do other things. Let's go. All right, just follow the path for me. I don't feel like galloping. Well, I don't feel like controlling the gallop. Well, hopefully he hasn't like actually gone out of town. Oh boy, he did. Slow oh, wait. now. What? Why is it sending me off? I guess I could actually just turn around and run up here really quick. I wonder if uh, the Duchess knew. No play, right, Witcher? Yeah, you know how it goes, guy. 
Come on now. Because she seemed to be like, don't talk about it. So it seemed like maybe she knew. I don't want to race my horse. It's not something I'm interested in. And I lost all the tourneys somehow. All the tourney thingamajigs. Girl, you just knocked me over. The warble of a smitten knight, I just realized. Me? I pledge my love to win the tourney with your name on my lips. But what if another knight proves victorious? Many a valiant man has entered the list this year. If it be so. Then I pledge to remain silent and not remove my helmet until Gross. I fulfill my first pledge to you next year. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. It is right Thanks. and fitting, Witcher, that the Duquesa summoned and you came. Okay. Geralt, what a Vivian. Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done. Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Exactly! Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say... If you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Boy, if you don't do the, if you don't, if you don't respect her wishes, and you don't deserve her at all. A fruitful hunt to you, witch. At all, my boy. So holy crap, that was really long. I will. Call this part here. I'll definitely have to split this in half, but that was a really cool quest. A girl who's slowly transforming into a bird. An Oreo. Ooh, actually, really quick. Let's see. Um, Panther. Uh, Diabolically cunning. The stranded souls of those who die in their sleep. Interesting, interesting superstition. The panther spirit of the deceased may then devour its own body, thereby passing on to the nether realms. Oh. This belief must be eradicated by any means, for it leads to an epidemic of cholera and other contagious diseases born of rotting corpses. Besides, it is patently ridiculous. Given panthers are not necrophages and will not consume carrion of any sort, they prefer more spry and lively prey, such as deer or even humans, provided they are not ill and do not stink too badly. I love it. Uh, what did I? Uh, Indrega worker, maybe? Thought I already had fought those, but maybe not. Oh, um. Diamo. Affairs of the heart. A professional curse breaker, Nashville did the contract. Uh, it happened since she was before she was born. Geralt performed a ritual freeing Vivian from the curse. She decided to travel abroad in order to enjoy the life she had left. To the utmost. And I did not tell Guillermo about the plans. Uh. Oh. Alright, that's the guy who died way back. Uh. Oh, okay. She was tied up secretive, inaccessible person, but her beauty fascinated men. She was a powerful curse, bird. Mm. K. 
kept the information Vivian had confided in him secret, even though Guillermo was determined to help in any way he could. Guillermo tried to convince Vivian she, he only wanted what was best for her, but she preferred to remain independent. She and Geralt connected the ritual together, lifting the curse. Okay, so I, I wonder if the other way I'd done it, like if we had offered to transfer the curse, if I had told Guillermo about it and, and whatnot, we could have somehow transferred the curse to him and she would be like, in, but then I think she'd feel like indebted to him and like, the love wouldn't be, he'd be like, he's like all fascinated with her and she's like, just wants, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't actually like the knights very much from the few things I've heard her say, like lusty knights and like, who only stare at her as like a pillar, put her on the pedestal of beauty and, and, and good virtues and blah, blah, blah. It's like, girl, she got other things she wants to do. She can do whatever the frick she wants. Don't put her on that dang damn pedestal. You know, find your own virtue and honor in the things you do. You don't need some pedestal of virtue that is apparently embodied in a woman who's got nothing better to do. Like, you know, it's like, no, women got plenty of things to do and they don't have to be embodiments of virtue. Thank you very much. But, um, but yeah. She, and she called, like, she said something about how knights are all well and good in the tourney, but not, you know, in real life with real danger, so... She did lead me through the white cave on purpose because a knight, many of the knights would have been like, ah! But you can love someone as much as you want, but they don't have to return the feeling or the sentiment whatsoever. But this could have played out very differently, it seems like, if we'd have gotten it. Maybe she would have fallen in love with him if he took the curse for her, or she would have been bitter about it that he took the curse for her and not have fallen in love with him anyway, you know? Or felt obligated to fall in love with him or any of that, you know? Yeah, I like this outcome better! <laughs> but yeah, I think I will leave it here. So thank you guys very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, this is cool stuff. I've got brand new quests. I'm excited. So yeah, uh, thanks again and I will see you in the next one.